Hi, welcome to episode 21 of Pink's Picks, Recommendations from a Retired English Teacher. Today's two titles have many, many similarities. Both are set primarily in German-occupied Poland during World War II. They are novels based on true stories of love and survival. We Were the Lucky Ones was published in 2017. The Tattooist of Auschwitz was published in 2018. Both of these pieces feature multilingual characters speaking French, Polish, German, Slovak, Russian, Hungarian, Yiddish, Portuguese, and or English. Uh, both of these pieces have interesting clothing imagery appropriate because characters in each are in the import-export textile business. Also, what you read after each story ends is as compelling as the stories themselves. The Tattooist of Auschwitz is the third person limited account of Slovakian Lael Sokolov's assignment by the Nazis at Auschwitz to Birkenau as a tattooist. A heartbreaking job permanently numbering his fellow Jews. A compelling story. At 254 pages, Tattooist is a quicker read than We Are the Lucky Ones, but not nearly as satisfying. I found the syntax and diction rather unimaginative and the interior monologue somewhat contrived. In her author's notes, Morris mentions when she met Lael, he told his story piecemeal, sometimes slowly, sometimes at bullet pace, and without clear connections between the many, many episodes in his life. Morris's writing, unfortunately, is reflective, I believe, of just that. Georgia Hunter's account of her family's saga is seamless. Hunter begins with a family tree of the Polish Kortz family in 1939, then unravels each of their stories through third-person omniscient rotating narration with settings as far and wide as Siberia, Tel Aviv, Casablanca, Paris, Italy, and Rio, uh, to name some of those. She perfectly weaves in brief war chronologies, which are very, very helpful, uh, at least in my understanding or further understanding of World War II, as well as uh, very well inserted flashbacks. Further, I honestly had no idea how instrumental the Red Cross was in reuniting the DPs or displaced persons, war survivors, with their families. Nor did I know that General Eisenhower found so much lodging for the homeless Jews. The tattooist of Auschwitz was interesting. Thus, I give it a B. We Were the Lucky Ones, which is not simply a clever title, but is a direct quote from the author's grandmother, is inspiring. I give it an A plus. Both books embody the sheer strength of human determination and resourcefulness in the face of overwhelming adversity and utter despair. I wish universally we had a little bit more of that right now. Next time I will be discussing Patricia Highsmith's diabolical Tom Ripley. Until then, stay safe, be healthy, and do your homework. Bye-bye.